Okay, you guys. Um, it's me again. Um, so, um, I'm gonna do my second review. My second video is about Mr. Popper Candy. I'm sure you guys have watched it, right? This one was released in 2011. So, yeah, I'm sure you guys have. I have um have you have passion. This is the I'm still gonna review my movie. This is I'm gonna do my review about this book because um when I was in 2000 and when when this when this film was released in 2011 I was really more excited and I really enjoyed watching this movie. So basically I'm doing my review about this movie. So for those who haven't watched this movie. It's still not too late for you guys to watch it. Buy a DVD and watch it. That other thing. <laughs> okay, um let's not waste time. Let's go to um let's go to my video about Mr. Popper Pangu. Okay. Mr. Popper Pangu is a movie based on an average guy. Who is a workaholic? All of a sudden, he sees a package from his dad that contains something valuable that will change his life forever. Dad is a Mark Waters, starts by Jim Perry as a workaholic. Live action comedy was inspired by the classic Newberry Award winning John Wick, Mr. Popper, and Max. Mm, you guys, um, hmm. so basically, the life this movie is about um, the life of a businessman, played by Jim Perry, started to change after he has inherited this cute icy creature. You guys, I'm telling you guys right, how I really adore a penguin. They're like so cute. They're very cute and they just look so good. <laughs> and, and, and after he, after he has inherited six, those six cute penguins, um, he changed his environment into a winter wonderland. Yeah. You guys hear me right. It's a winter wonderland. He has changed his face into a winter wonderland. It's perfect. It's nice. And because of paying too much attention with the penguin, his professional life started to unravel. Hmm. Started to unravel and started to unravel. There is no actual violence in this movie except for a certain scene which is the zookeeper is hit at the base with his own hand and the descriptions of the beauty by Edison's father and how sensually his death is visited by his grown up son. Many confusing or upsetting to some sensitive child children. So, um, so for those who have a sensitive children, for, for those parents that have sensitive children, make sure they make sure they make sure you guys explain to the children about the thing. Explain to them why is this thing happening? Why is this happening to them? And yeah, explain to them. <laughs> okay. Overall, it's just really, it's nice to watch. It's nice to watch and it's good to watch. It's perfect to watch. It's nice to watch. As it is an entertaining tool, entertaining act to watch on how Jim Carrey keeps up with the adorable animals and how he takes care of them. Audience should be watching and experience by yourself to see. A different side of Jim Carrey. Um, so then, 
um, it's just that. So then, um, have a nice day and have a nice, have a nice day. And you guys, please don't forget again to view my blog, view my friends' blog, view my blog, my friend, my my and uh, my friends and I, <laughs> my friends' blog, and comment on it. So you can read it. Okay. Okay.